Hey guys, how's it going? We're here with yet another video, and I know I'm wearing the same thing again, but listen, I watched it, trust me. It's honestly one of my favorite shows. I used to have writing. But, um, yeah, this is another movie review. I've been really lacking on them. There's a ton of movies I've seen and I just haven't hopped on YouTube to tell anybody about it. You know, um, but this one's about the Marvels. You know, I tried it out. I think it's okay. I see why people said it was a shitty movie and it was horrible. You know, and then you had the first Captain Marvel movie where everybody hated that. So it just had a bad reputation in general. But in this movie, it's Captain Marvel, Photon, which she never really gets the name Photon yet in the movie. And, but that's technically what her name's supposed to be. And Miss Marvel. So I will say it's better if you watch the WandaVision series fully through because that's Photon's story. And the Miss Marvel series, that's for, that's for her. And then Captain Marvel, you could just watch her first movie and you pretty much get the whole point of her. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot better if you watch those movies, you know, you should not, you're not jumping into it like, who are these characters? You know, you have not, a lot more knowledge on it. Um, so the main villain kind of looked like Ronin, but a female version. She wasn't really a good villain at all. She was kind of shitty, in my opinion. I felt like, you know, she was more based off revenge. I think her name was Darbin, Darbon something, but... She was more based on revenge because in the first movie, Captain Marvel um, destroyed their like high society machine or whatever you want to call it, and it ruined their whole civilization. And the whole time, uh, Darben, I gotta, I gotta remember her name. Darben had a. Uh, I'm gonna be jumping around. This is gonna sound a little weird, but. She, in, in the main beginning of the film, she had a bangle. And if you know what those are, it's from the Miss Marvel series because she had one herself. So there's two apparently that were ever made. And one for Darbin and one with Miss Marvel, the whole movie, basically. And Darbin's plan is to have both of the bangles so she can reshape her society and, you know, basically get revenge on Miss Marvel in a way. But, um, eventually, I don't know, because they, they went all over with this movie, and it's kind of hard to explain it. You know, eventually we end up on a planet where Captain Marvel's a princess, and everybody there speaks in, in songs. And, like, she she went there to get help to, to fight Darbin, which was... It, it was a confusing movie. You know, the whole point is, she, is she's ripping o open, uh, or Darbin, I should really say names. She's ripping op open, uh, holes in the fabrics of, uh, the universe. And she's stealing things like water and stuff and putting it in, in her society. But, um, it was, I don't know. It was all over the place. You know, like, I don't want to say I hated the movie. I really didn't. It was just, it, it, it was a movie that went, all, all over, man. You saw Nick Fury in it. So at least he's there. Miss Marvel's family was a little bit of a part of it. Flurkin, where Goose, the the cat, you know, eventually uh, she had babies, and that is a bunch of cats now. Um, trying to make sure I touch upon everything here. Eventually, oh yeah, throughout the movie, uh, whenever they use their powers, they switch out another Marvel in their place, you know, so that was like a thing they were dealing with, like teleportation. Um, eventually near the end, Darbin, they, 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 they take her hammer and they, and they whip her ass and she gets stabbed, doesn't die, you know, cause they try to help her out and they're like, yo, we'll help you. And she just backstabs them, takes the, the bangle of uh, Miss Marvel uses the two the two bangles and rips open another hole and incinerates herself. She dies. 
So the whole purpose, she. This is why I say she didn't feel like a villain, because she just felt like she was getting revenge, and that's it. It didn't seem like there was much of a point to her. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Eventually, and then Photon, uh, Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel, they blast Photon. She flies out, closes up the hole, and she gets stuck in a different dimension or reality, as you want to call it. And in the end credits, you see Beast from X-Men and the mother of Photon, which is alive in that reality, and she's a part of X-Men 2, apparently. So we already know, I think there is going to be more X-Men films. You know, you already have Wolverine returning for Deadpool 3. So, um, yeah, there wasn't much to say about this movie. I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. You know, if you want to see it for yourself, you could. I just recommend you see the other series first beforehand. So you're not going in completely blind. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, other than that, try it out for yourselves. And I'll see you guys in my next video.